Good morning and welcome to this Thursday morning's Real Estate Bulletin. The main points are with the government announcing a host of incentives and tax benefits for affordable housing projects to support its goal of housing for all by 2022, reality developers are coming up to build more compact homes with some even tweaking their plans and reconfiguring the proposed projects into affordable homes. For example, Mumbai-based reality developer Paradigm Reality has modified its project in Borivili suburb with all 400 apartments of one bedroom configuration. The developer offered apartments with 350 to 380 square feet carpet area at 60 to 63 lakhs. Similarly, Bangalore-based builder Krishna Homes recently reconfigured its project in Electronic City to affordable homes from mid-segment. Earlier, the project had apartments spread over 900 square feet and was priced at Rs 40 lakhs each, but will now be priced at Rs 28 lakhs spread over 750 square feet. Yamuna Expressway Industrial Development Authority has cancelled the building plans of 17 projects in its area. The plans were cancelled after it came to light that five builders had not cleared some objections raised by the authority regarding the building plans between 2014 and 2016. While 11 projects have been initiated by the JP Group, six other projects include those launched by some leading developers of the region. A large number of corporates including Tata's, Godrej, Adani and Pitanjali have shown interest in buying in battle the Sahara Group's 30 properties estimated to be worth about Rs 7,400 crores. The properties mostly land parcels across Lucknow, Delhi, Pune, Indore, Chandigarh and Noida being auctioned by a real estate consultant Nightfrack India have also generated interest from several real estate developers including Omex and Eldigo as also from HNI's and Indian Oil. Besides, Chennai-based Apollo Hospital has shown interest in acquiring Sahara Hospital in Lucknow. Reality developer Hiranandani Communities have forayed into development of leisure homes in two of its projects in Kandala and Alibag near Mumbai. The developer so far known for destination developments is planning to invest 6,000 crores in this venture. The company will develop its 800 acres in Khandala and 250 acres in Alibag in several phases. That's all we have in today's bulletin. See you tomorrow morning. Take care against the heat wave. Good day.